Hey, what's going on, everybody? So it is currently Friday evening, and news just came out that the Packers have decided to sign another player after losing Shannon Sullivan to the Vikings earlier today. The Packers have come in and signed a new cornerback. Came out here from Doug Kide on Twitter. I think that's how you say his name. The Packers are signing X Raiders cornerback Kayshawn Nixon per source. So the Packers, of course, sort of have, I, th I think, one of the better secondaries in the NFL now with Jair Alexander, Eric Stokes, and Rasul Douglas after just signing him to a you know three-year, I think it was, what, $21 million um, contract. And, of course, we lost Shannon Sullivan to the Vikings earlier today, and Kevin King is still a free agent. So I do think the Packers need some depth at cornerback. So the Packers have decided to add one here. So if you take a look at his history, he came into the NFL back in 2019 as an undrafted free agent with the um, you know, Las Vegas Raiders. He spent the past three years with the Raiders. And if we take a look at him on defense, he didn't play too much, only 283 defensive snaps in his career. And in his career, he's been targeted 24 times, allowed 19 receptions for 287 yards and one touchdown. And he's allowed a 130.4 pass rating. So not the greatest stats there. But I think the main reason the Packers probably signed him is because of his special teams ability. If you take a look at special teams, he played on 687 special team snaps where he only played in 283 defensive snaps um, with the Raiders. And if we take a look back with him being with the Raiders, of course, the Packers this offseason have brought in special teams coach from the Raiders, Rich Basaccia. So I would assume that this is sort of a Rich Basaccia is doing, saying, okay, this guy was pretty solid in special teams for us over um, in Las Vegas. So maybe we should bring him over here. That's what would sort of be my conclusion as to why the Packers, you know, decided to do this. Also to have probably some... Um, you know, some more cornerback depth on the Packers as well. But it seems like it's probably, you know, hopefully he can be utilized on special teams because we all know how badly the Packers spe uh, special teams was last season. So who knows what's going to happen here, what he will do. Hopefully he's an extra Sewell Douglas and we just have, you know, way too many quarter uh, cornerbacks and uh, that'll be a good problem to have. But maybe at the best, he could be a great special teams player. We will see what happens next season. But welcome to the Packers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.